Hey guys, been missing you like crazy. This is Jeremy. Um, been working hard trying to get the new gym going for you guys, but I know you guys are at home wondering what you can do to make yourself feel like you're moving forward with your gymnastics. I wish we were in the gym, but unfortunately we get to do this at home. This is awesome. You can show off for your parents, help grab a sister, grab a brother, have them do this with you. But we're going to go through some stuff today. Hopefully it'll help you get going and we're going to keep it up and have some fun, all right? Okay, so we're going to start. Every find a place in your house or out back. I'm just out in my backyard hanging out. You can check out, I'll show you my pig here in a second. And so you can just realize that you can do this thing anywhere, all right? Okay, so we're going to start. Everybody stand up tall. We're going 25 jumping jacks, nice and big. So here we go on three. One, two, three. Big. Nice and tall. Keep it going. Okay, and this is just to get our blood going. Make sure we're warm, make sure our muscles are doing good. We're gonna stretch out here in just a minute. Hopefully you're counting, because I've quit counting. We're gonna go five more. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna put your arms up, pick up one leg. We're gonna hop on one leg, nice and tall. Try to just push through your toes. Doing good. Awesome, what a nice day today, man. Perfect weather, yeesh. Okay, switch legs. Looking good. Keep arms tall. Okay, now big and tall. Two legs, try to keep your knees tight. Just punch. All right, okay, breathe for a second. Feeling good already. Okay, ready? We're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna do um, 10 burpees, okay? You guys know how to do these. We're gonna go down, make sure you do a really good push up in between, okay? So, here we go. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna do a big jump. Down, burpee, up. Good, we're almost there. Halfway. Three more, you can do it. All right, gotta love burpees. All right, okay, keep breathing. Whoo, nice. Okay, we're gonna go stretching. Okay, and I got out my awesome purple yoga mat that the girls got out of meat this season. Purple's my most favorite color, especially. <laughs> okay, no, maybe not, but that's okay. Find whatever you can, something nice and soft, but let's go on your knees. I'm just gonna start with wrist stretches. Very important. Stretch out our wrists. Make sure we don't injure ourselves. Okay, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna put them together. We're gonna go side to side. Light pressure. Okay, we're just rolling around. Making sure those wrists feel really, really good. I'm gonna flip them over, upside down, keep your elbows straight. All right, you guys are doing good. Way to go, ladies and gents. Okay, we're gonna turn them all the way in now. Okay, gonna rock back and forth. Okay, and then the last one is we're gonna do Hershey Kiss. And you guys know this one. All right. There we go. Okay, pick them up, shake them out, wiggle them. Okay, this is my favorite one. You gotta pretend you got a bug flying by. You're gonna catch him. You're gonna wiggle him around. Bzzz. Okay, got him in there. Now you can let him out. Woo! You can have a good day too. All right, awesome. Okay. Next stretch we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure our back's nice and stretched out. So we're gonna start with a sill stretch. It's gonna push down straight arms. Squeeze your bum really tight. Look up tall to the sky. All right. And if you're super cool, like many of you are, you're gonna bring your toes up to your to back right here, and you can try to touch your head. Jeremy's obviously not gonna get there today, but that's okay. So I'm gonna keep working on it. All right, now we're gonna go down, we're gonna do puppy stretch. 
Stretch those shoulders out to the floor. Very good. Okay. All right. The last thing we're gonna stretch today is our ankles. And then at the very end when we get done, we're gonna go through splits and some other things to just make sure we're working on our flexibility all the way, okay? All right, so we're gonna work on our ankle. I like to do this, you're gonna pick up your leg like this, then you're gonna write your name with your foot. And if you got a short name, you gotta write it twice, but Jeremy's pretty long, so. Okay, we're gonna do it on both sides. Make sure you spell it right. It's been a while, right? Since you've been in school. <laughs> okay, all right. Feeling good. Okay, and just roll them out a little bit more. All right, and today we're gonna work on the number one most important skill in gymnastics, which is being able to do a very nice handstand because pretty much every single skill that we do goes through a handstand position, okay? outside of forward rolls, backward rolls, stuff like that. Everything else, cartwheels, round offs, back handsprings, um, bars, beam, everything goes through a handstand, okay? And if your handstand's strong, you're gonna have great success, okay? I've never met a level 10 gymnast that couldn't hold a minute handstand. And I often tell the older girls that that might be the secret to being a level 10 gymnast is being able to hold a minute handstand, okay? Some of them believe me, and they've got their minute handstand. Some of them, well, they maybe don't quite believe me yet, but one day they will get there and they will understand how important that is, okay? So we're gonna work on ours today. Make sure everybody's is killing it and doing good. Um, so what I wanna start out with is we're gonna start, we call it, we call a, this um, part of the handstand a three-legged dog, okay? And this is one everybody can do. You start with your hands up like this. And the goal is just, we're just trying to get our weight on top of our hands, okay? Because if our weight's off, just like a, a scale, if you put a rock on this side and a rock on this side, you can even them out. That's kind of what we're trying to work on with our hands now. If we have too much weight on this side, then our scale goes down like this. If we put too much on this side, it falls over this way. And we're trying to find the center, that balance where everything's even, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hands up tall. We're just gonna go down, put pressure on our hands and just kick up and feel that nice, strong push in the floor. Just like this, okay? All right. And I want you to do 10 of these babies, okay? All right. And notice that my arms are staying up. My elbows are staying straight, okay? Nice and tall, okay? Just coming up. Nice and tall, okay? And I want you to keep going. Okay, you're gonna be all the way to 10. As you push up in the back, I want your toe to point nice and strong right here, okay? And the, the stronger your position is, and if your glasses wiggle like mine, you just gotta make sure you fix, fix them or you can take them off, no big deal. Um, but just make sure that everything that you're doing is super, super strong. If I'm gonna bend my arms when I do this like this, it's gonna make it so I can't control that, okay? It's gonna make me crash or, especially it's gonna make me do more work so I can't do this right, okay? so. That's number one, we're gonna do 10 of those, okay? The next one we're gonna do, and you notice you look over here, okay? I had some old gym boards, okay? Some gym floorboards in my backyard. I just grabbed one, put it up against a tree. You can use a wall or whatever else you got that's flat, but if we're gonna use this, I'm gonna kick up against it into handstand. And this, we're just trying to get really tall, making sure we're squeezing tight, pushing as tall as we can to the sky so that we can get strong and light in our handstand, okay? Now this one's pretty easy, but you gotta make sure that you are flat against the wall, okay? So I'm gonna kick up here, okay? Strong here, okay, you're gonna find your spot. Then you're gonna push really strong. Notice my ears, okay? My eyes are still looking at the ground, but my head's not sticking out. Okay, I'm squeezing really, really, really tight, okay? And I'm just gonna try to keep that flat. And I want you to go and work on that until you can hit five seconds and then 10 seconds. And then the goal with that is to go to 30 seconds, okay? And eventually, if you can do a minute, then you're gonna be well on your way to 
holding that awesome strong handstand on the on the floor or anywhere okay and if you don't know yet okay jeremy has made a decision in life okay to never lose a handstand contest to anybody in the gym okay we've been we've had the gym now for a little over 12 years and jeremy has never lost a handstand contest okay so i take that very very seriously and you can do handstands no matter how old you are okay how much hair you have how tall you are how short you are okay does not matter handstands are awesome okay take pride in having the best handstand because the girls that have the best handstands usually like i said in the beginning turn out to be the very best gymnasts all right okay and the last one we're gonna do this one is to work on strength okay um we're gonna do something called um armpit pluckers okay and we're gonna kick we're gonna use our wall or our whatever we have up here that we can use it's flat okay we're gonna walk our feet up it just like this okay gonna get our feet up there we're gonna go to like about a 45 like this okay so we're nice and strong elbows are straight again okay glasses are falling off so i'm gonna get rid of them for a sec okay and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift up like this okay you rock back and forth pretend you're pulling out all your amazingly long armpit hair because i know you guys have armpit hair that you can braid okay you're just gonna pull it out okay you're gonna try to get to five on each side or ten on each side okay and you're trying not to let your body wag like this like a like you're wagging your tail okay just try to keep it as flat as you can as you go up and down okay and that okay is how we are gonna finish today all right and um what i really want you to concentrate on is just making sure that your hand stands are nice and strong okay nice and straight um make sure you're being safe okay you don't want to be in an area where if you fall over you're gonna hit some furniture um or hit something else so make sure you have plenty of space and grab your mom or your dad or brother or sister and have them help you out if you need to okay i've been doing handstands for a long time so um it just, sometimes just takes a little bit of time before you feel super comfortable but i promise you guys if you'll work on this at home when you come back to the gym it's going to be so much better okay tons and tons of skills come just because we have a strong handstand okay someone that has a strong handstand i can probably teach them a back handspring in one day or a back walkover in one day okay it's amazing how much easier gymnastics becomes once your handstand is super strong all right okay so i'm going to turn the time over here to tolly okay you guys know tolly she's our level 10 in the gym okay she's my daughter um see you guys know tolly okay Tolly's been working hard, okay, doing workouts every day while she's been out of the gym. And guess what? She's my daughter. We have the gym. She hasn't really been in the gym working on skills because we've been tearing the old gym apart and trying to get the new gym set up. But she's been having to use the backyard, all this stuff as well, even though we do have the gym, okay? So, um, but you guys know Tolly. She works really hard in the gym. You guys probably love watching her do skills like I do. Um, she has a a way of making everything look really pretty and nice and she has spent hours and hours and hours on her handstand too so um she's going to take you through some flexibility today but before i leave i do want to tell you guys um how much i miss you this has been super hard to not see everybody every week to not come around and give you fist bumps and see how school's been going and see how you guys are doing um I really, really enjoy that every week seeing you guys. And I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you and I can't wait till we get back to normal times and we can get back in the gym and see each other and have some fun. But keep working hard and um, I'm sure you'll see me again on another video here soon, but have a great day and keep it up, okay? Champion strong, here we go. Tully's gonna lead you in some stretching though. She's gonna take you through the splits for a minute and then you'll be all done with your workout for today. All right, thanks guys. All right, so we're just gonna do 30 second splits on each side. But first I want you to do one so you can stretch your legs out a little bit. So you're gonna lean forward for five techniques. And then you're gonna push it back, straight leg, point and toe. And then you're gonna slide out to your splits. And 
And in your splits, I want you to make sure your back leg is straight, your front leg is straight, and your toes are pointed. So we'll go for 30 seconds. The last five, if you can, try to put your arms up like this. Switch to the other leg. So big lunge. Push it back, point your toe, straight knee. And then slide out to your other side. Remember, point your toes on both sides, straight knees on both sides, squeezing legs. Last five, remember you can try to put your arms up if you can't, that's totally good. Good. And then we have middles. For middles, you're going to start with a side squat thing where you're going to have one leg straight and one leg bent like this. And you're going to reach your hands forward as far as you can. Hold that for five and then switch to the other side. Pointy toe, reach out. Then you're going to slide out as far as you can. You're just going to hold it for 30 seconds. Try to keep your legs straight and your toes pointy on this one too. job today. We'll see you next week.